Cougs now third down and ten. They're one of five on third down conversions. Brick straight back. Flagged out, intercepted. Picked off for a touchdown by Van Hoosen. Now let's see about the flag. And the official is holding on the offense. Well, there it is. Touchdown, California. Touchdown. That's a play that the Bears dearly wanted. Washington State trying to run the fire screen and then coming back with what people call a Vegas screen, just an underneath screen to a wide receiver. But Greg Van Hoosen, a guy who's been active in the special teams over the years at his career in Cal, a sophomore, blocked the punt last year. See, they fake that fire screen to Harrison, and then he comes back around trying to get the ball to Hill, and Van Hoosen there waiting for it. Exciting play for just a sophomore. Traffic point is on its way, and the laces were right this time. And Coops also only had 10 players on the field. So it's good, and the lead has been increased to 11. California 21, Washington State 10. Here it is again. Van Hoosen sprints to his spot, recognizes the screen. Nobody blocks him, steps right in front of Jason Hill, takes it into the end zone, and check out Jeff Tedford. Loves to see his defense getting involved in the scoring. Throwing that number one up. I don't think he's saying we're number one. No. <laughs> Go for one. Gonna dream about that one for a while. 16 yards for Van Hoosen. Nobody touched him. By the time he's a grandfather, that play will be 75 yards long. <laughs> It'll be 25 next year. Big play for the Bears defense. He's telling him how he did it. And then I caught it. <laughs> and then. Was it good? Was it good? <laughs> did you see me? Second interception return for a score by the Cal defense this year. Cooper Tire, defensive player of the game, is Greg Van Hoosen. Remember that interception and return 16 yards for a touchdown and kind of changed things in California's favor near the end of the first half. They had two picks turned into two scores and gave them a 28 to 10 half time. Is with Cal coach Jeff Tedford, Roddy. And Barry, everybody wants to talk Cal offense. I'm going to talk Cal defense. Mixon and Van Hoosen, big plays for you guys at the end of the half. Huge plays, yeah. Put us in a situation there to score right at the end and then. His defense, remember, number one in the Pac 10. Yeah, that's right. It's easy to overlook that because they have struggled the last couple of weeks, but not so today. 28 to 10. The Bears lead it at the half. We take you back to the field. for the Cal Bears, and they'll go to a bye week off a win, and it was a desperately needed win. And I, I don't think I've ever seen Jeff Tedford as emotional as that. No, you got to give the credit to Joe Ayub. He's taken a lot of heat. He's been through a lot. He's still maybe not the guy that they need to lead this football team, but he's doing a great job with what he's got, leading a bunch of freshman receivers. Tedford was leading cheers. And Look at this. I mean, I know this guy really well. He is not an animated guy. But I think he really thinks his team showed a lot of guts here. I think they did. A lot of young players, a lot of hurt guys, a lot of people not playing in the football game. The Bain, the defensive lineman, wasn't supposed to play. Played a little bit. We didn't see him in the second half. The Cal Bears played hard and earned a victory at home against a really high-flying Cougar offense. Now they're going to buy with.